Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Today I have a Gymshark haul and it's the Whitney Simmons collection. I'm so excited to show you the pieces that I got. I actually showed a little restraint for one, so I didn't go too crazy. So let's see what I got. First, I got the gold blue in the sports bra. Ooh, almost dropped it. Um, so if you haven't seen it, I'm sure you've seen it everywhere. It has this really pretty mesh and then a twist in the front. And then she went back to the little gold plating that she had on her first collection. So this is the version two that had like the gold scripting, um, but she went back to the little plate. The back is just a racer back and it's mesh. So it's supposed to be really breathable. I got all the pieces in a medium to match the gold blue bra. I got the gold blue shorts. Um, and these are the mesh ones. She also has, there's like a longer cycling style, but I did the cycling in the butterfly and they were so long, I hated them. So I wasn't really sure, I couldn't find an inseam anywhere. Um, so I just went with these cause I knew they were shorter. So it actually has this mesh panel that goes down the front. Um, it has the gold bar again in the front and then the back she did like the little scrunch bum she has across the back. Um, it's a beautiful day to be alive. And then it has kind of like a V detail in the back as well. So on the version two, I really loved how these had, sorry, how these had like that V shape. Um, so I was really happy that she kept that detail. And I feel like the material is pretty similar, maybe just a little bit lighter but feels really nice. What I love about the Whitney collection is the fabric. I feel like it's probably the best fabric that Gymshark does and I don't understand why they don't just make, somehow make it permanent. I also managed to get the eucalyptus, which I really did not expect to be able to. <laughs> um, the last collection just sold out so fast when they did version one and version two, they sold out so fast. So I guess they stocked way more, which I was not aware of. So I checked out really fast and I really didn't get a lot because I didn't want to be greedy and I wanted to just make sure I got a few things that I really wanted. So these are the high-waisted leggings. These are not the mesh ones. There's another style that has mesh, um, but I find mesh is just delicate and I don't want to deal with it. When I throw things in the wash, you're like always afraid they're gonna snag. Um, so I got the regular. So really silky buttery fabric, the gold bar detail. It has kind of like this double seam going across. Um, then the back has that same sort of a V style with the scrunch bomb. Um, she didn't do the laser cut that she did on these. So these have this like really pretty laser cut detail that she did not do this time around. Um, so I'm a little sad about that, but I think this color is amazing. Actually, I wasn't really thinking. So she did a brown in this collection, dandelion brown but I didn't get it because I already have this in brown. This is like the chocolate cherry color from version two. And this actually would look really cute. So I'm really excited that I happen to be wearing this combo. All right, and then this is the cropped tank. So I wanted to try one of each of the tops. And so it's like a V-neck. It comes down a little longer, like a long line. It has the gold bar. In the back, I guess it's mesh or it's just lighter. I can't tell if this is actually mesh or if it's just a lighter fabric, but it's definitely very breathable. Um, this, I was very inspired when I watched Hope Scope's video. She was saying that this was like her favorite thing and I watched her video really quick um, before the launch to try to like decide. So I was really excited for this and I like that it's a little bit longer in case you do wanna wear it, but. Wouldn't that look cute? I feel like that looks really good together. So very excited to mix and match maybe my new Whitney pieces with my old Whitney pieces. All right, so let's get to the try on. This is the gold blue, I love it. It fits so well. So I am a medium in Gymshark and the true medium really fits, which is so good because if you watch my last Gymshark haul with the butterfly collection, I was so mad that the sports bra didn't fit. And that was also part of my reasoning for holding back on the Whitney stuff was 
I didn't want to get all this stuff in medium and then have it be too small, not fit, whatever. So I'm so relieved that the sizes are right because of course all the fun colors are all sold out now. So I'm really happy. I think the sports bra is so beautiful. It's very feminine. I love feminine details. Um, one thing is there aren't any cup pads. I guess there are like little slots that you could put some in, but I was hearing from some people that then they like really showed through. So I'll have to experiment with that. I didn't really want to mess with it too much. I just wanted to show you kind of how it looks normally, but um, you have this really pretty V-neck with the little twist in the front, the little gold bar, just so feminine, <laughs> love that. And then the back, you've got the mesh racer back. Pretty simple in the back compared to the other one, which had kind of like the little gold ring. Then the shorts, so the mesh does come up pretty high and would show probably your underwear, depending if you're wearing like skin toned underwear, then you'll probably be okay. But if I had like black on, I feel like they would totally show right now. But I love how high waisted these are. I feel like it's just like perfect. It's like not even like cinching me in. It's just like a nice soft fabric. But for a light color, I feel like really comfortable. I don't feel like it's like showing anything weird. Um, there is the back. I haven't actually seen the scrunch myself, so I'll have to look at it on camera <laughs> to see how it looks. But it's much more subtle, like her scrunch is much more subtle than some of the other ones. But overall, I think the shorts, the length is perfect. The only thing I would do is add pockets because you know my obsession lately. Um, it's really cute with the little shark down on the bottom there, and then it's a beautiful day to be alive, goes around, super subtle. But I'm so happy I got this because the past, like, the beautiful blue, I remember the last time, sold out so fast, um, so I didn't even bother to go for it. But this time, I did, and it worked out, and I think this is such a cute set. It's super springy, I would say. Like, it's kind of weird timing for, like, she has, like, the yellow and the pink, um, kind of spring-like colors. Here is the eucalyptus. I love a good green. This is so amazing. I'm so glad I got this color. It is so pretty. So this sports bra, little crop top is so flattering. I love this v-neck. Um, it's not like super supportive. I probably wouldn't wear this on like cardio day for sure. Um, but if it's a strength day and I just want a matching set and I don't want my tummy showing, this actually fits so nice. I'm so happy. I wish I got more. Um, so the leggings come up nice and high. You've got the gold bar there, and then on the top, you've got the gold bar there. I really like this seaming. I think that's really cool and just like adds a little bit of dimension, really gives you a nice shape. Like it kind of gives like an illusion the way it comes down that it snatches in your waist. So that's really cool. I'll take all the help I can get. And no, I'm just really, really into this V-neck and this color is so amazing. Um, the back, pretty simple on the top, just like a normal racer back. And then the back of the leggings. So you do have kind of like the scrunch a little bit, but very subtle and kind of like that V detail again. These come down almost all the way, like seven eighths, I would say. Um, but they're really stretchy, so you could also like play around. I bet I could pull them all like all the way down, or I could like scrunch them up just a little bit if I wanted them to be shorter. So I feel like depending on your height, they seem pretty versatile because the fabric is so stretchy and soft. So very happy with the pieces that I got. Really wishing that I got more. I do have a confession that I did make another order, but I feel like all the fun stuff was gone. Um, so I got this top in the pink, but they only had small left and I was like, mm, maybe, <laughs> so I don't know. Or maybe someone will trade me on a website on like the Gymshark Facebook group. Um, and then I got the pants and the shorts in black. I did get the cycling shorts and the mesh to actually compare them to see which one I like better. And I got a couple of the cropped like sweatshirt things, but I don't know. 
So I don't really know how that's gonna go and I really wanted to show you these pieces that like I know I love. Like these are not going anywhere. I am definitely keeping these. Um, but let me know if you want to see me try on the other items. I probably will do a video for those just to see um, how they all fit. But yeah, I kind of regret buying so much from the butterfly collection because it was so disappointing and I'm still waiting on like trying to get the new sports bras so I haven't even returned the old ones yet even though like the blue one there's no way that's never gonna work um, but I kind of wish I hadn't got as much of that because the Whitney collection is so much nicer it fits so much better I think my frustration with Gymshark is that it has been inconsistent like with that launch and then the Whitney stuff normally sells out so fast that it's like grab 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 and I didn't receive my items in time to see how they fit to see if I wanted more of anything like I definitely want another one of these tops I definitely want another of the sports bras and they're gone um, I did get the black sports bra but I think that's like a frustration of over shopping over buying is like when they do these launches and it's like oh act fast um, and then there's all this like swapping behind the scenes. Like I'm in a Facebook group that's like literally Gymshark buy, sell, swap. And like, that's great. But at the same time, it's like annoying because I don't want to depend on some stranger I don't know to like ship me something. And like, what if they take my money, you know? Um, you know, like weird stuff happens. So if Gymshark would just like have a normal launch with like enough pieces and then you would receive them and see what you like and then buy more because like obviously if the mediums didn't fit then I would go back and buy large you know what I'm saying so that's just a little rant I do love Gymshark and I do think overall like the way they have a 90 day return policy is amazing but the way that they hype up certain launches and then it's like get it now or you'll never be able to it leads people to like buy these enormous hauls like you've seen me do just because if you don't get it then, then you might not be able to get it. And like, I have fallen prey to that. I've done that myself. Um, so I don't know, hopefully that's something they can think about. Cause like, if this was like part of the permanent collection or at least like available for like six months or something, like it's a really awesome collection that I think a lot of people would want to buy. So those are my thoughts. I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned for more haul videos. You know the drill. Um, I don't know when this is going up, but my marathon is coming up soon. So if you still want to donate, um, I do have a link to the Mariposa Foundation. I would love your support. So have a great day. Stay positive. Bye.